Lover Marriage Huntsville, the season eight is going to be coming back on the 4th of next month. And we did a video earlier on talking about the official photos and the official photo of the show and the new people coming out, Destiny coming back, the new couples coming in on the new season. If you haven't watched that video, make sure you go ahead and click on the video and go and watch it. But today, we're going to be talking about the episode one of the new season eight that's coming out on the 4th of next month. Now, I was previously to see this on a Facebook group that I'm on, and, um, and it was posted about the information on the first episode. Although right from time I know that the episode one's um, title is called Arrested with Development. Now, we've, they, there's more info on what the episode we intake. It says, the fallout from Martel's arrest begins with Melody increasing security around her home after hearing the news. Tisha finds out Destiny was betrayed by someone in her inner circle. Melody's events get crashed by an unexpected guest. Now, the fact that we all know about the fact that Martel was arrested a few months ago and he did things that nobody liked going on Tasha K's live, talking about it, trying to expose in his own way, expose Melody for who she really is and not the one she claims to be on the show. For me to see that Owen is going to be showing everything and allowing her to probably also even shoot with this guy is besides me. Because I believe if somebody doesn't feel secured, if she has to, if if she has to increase security over that person, why are you allowing the person being around the person? Why are you allowing the person be around her? I don't understand for the life of me why that would be. And the fact that they want to capitalize on that and show us what else would they want to show us are they going to print a light in a different way or try to explain it for us on the circumstances of it we all know why he was arrested we all know the aftermath of the arrest because it played out to everyone him going on to shake's life him saying what he said it all played out we all saw it play out and now they want to capitalize it and show it on the show I don't understand that at all. I don't understand that. And we also see that they say Destiny um, talks to Latisha talking about the fact that an inner circle was betrayed by her. Somebody in that inner circle was betrayed her, not just betrayed by her, betrayed her. We already know that about her alleged ex-boyfriend, you know, allegedly marrying, not allegedly, we saw the marriage, marrying one of the producers of the show of love of marriage huntsville the thing is i already know about this thing and i don't think i'm more i'm very intrigued by seeing that storyline i'm not really that intrigued seeing that because i'm one person i don't like the fact because Mela, sorry because destiny has already gone through a phase on the show where she had to get married to her husband had her kid and get divorced in a divorce that is not really amicably amicable and really we don't really know as the, the, the full details about the divorce then we get to see her back on the show not for us to see how she has moved on in life how she has made herself better how there's a better version of her or things have officially become great for her but instead we're getting to see her come back on the show to have another fight with another man somebody that's already married to somebody else it's not a good look from my own perspective i feel it's not a good look for her because she was she got married on the show we saw her with a husband on the show she had a kid with her husband on the show she got divorced from her husband on the show then she was dropped down from the show because she did not want to show show us her reality in her life then for her to be coming back on the season is for her to show us or having a showdown or having a fight with somebody that is married with an ex-boyfriend that is married to somebody else now it is not giving i am making the right decision in my life it's not giving i am really moving forward in life it's not giving i have learned from my first mistake 
And for me, I feel embarrassed for Destiny that we get to see her back over that. I would have loved to see Destiny back to show us that, yes, I was a winner. Yes, no matter what the hate that everybody has given me, people were not, are not happy with Destiny. People are always hating on her. Her comment section is always filled with, you know, vow insults. No matter all those things that I have gone through, I overcame them. I became, I moved up. I moved on. I am becoming something for myself. That is what I would have loved for Destiny to come on the show and do. That is what I would have loved for her to do. Not for her coming to confront. Whenever when I saw that, I never loved the fact that they 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 said she was coming back for that old reason. And I'm like, okay, if this is gonna be happening on the first episode where Destiny is telling um this lady. So that is her whole storyline for the season, where she's talking about this alleged ex-boyfriend, this guy marrying somebody else now, being married to somebody else now. And that is going to be her whole storyline for the season. That's like the bare minimum that she has always given from the previous seasons. She has always given bare minimums. She doesn't really show us everything about her life. I would love to see Destiny. Where has she moved on from? Where? What is? There are so many questions in Destiny's life that if she decides to unveil them, man, she's gonna be so. In people are gonna be so interested in watching the show because they want to find out everything about her life. But for her to come back, over arguing, over fighting, over talking about somebody that is married, you were just a girlfriend right i know it's painful to think that you're dating someone because we saw her introduce this guy to us even if we did not really get to see him on the show but there was an episode where she did a video call of this with this guy right she did a video call with this guy and you know they were all lovey dovey the guy was you know, giving promises you know he was giving like okay yeah destiny is doing good for herself like this new guy is making sense i really felt happy for her that she was moving on with a new guy i know that it's upsetting to think that i found gold but found out that you were not digging for gold at all I know it is painful, but where I'm coming from is that the moment you know that this guy married the producer from the show that you were first dumped from and you came back on that same show just to confront him and his new wife on the same show that you were booed out of, a lot of people wanted you off from because you were not given anything and because um, you didn't say anything about your life, your marriage, and your everything that is going on. Nothing, nobody knew about it. For you to come back to, to have a showdown with an ex. How is that a great storyline? How is that? In, because one thing I know is that I love watching shows to be a teaching moment for me. There are so many shows that I've learned different things on how to approach people, how to react to certain things, how to, you know, calm myself in certain situations. I learned from so many reality TV shows. Now I'm going to be learning, what, what is the lesson for people watching this, this particular thing happening, like this Destiny versus her ex-boyfriend? What is going to be the lesson there? Come back to the show to to drag to 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 fight with the next boyfriend that is married right now what, what is it gonna what, what are you going to gain he's not gonna come back to you he's still going to remain married so i really did not like that part and the other part where we see that somebody crashes melody's event i don't really have anything about that i don't know which event that will be and i'm anticipating to see who did crash into melody's event and which event is of this is are they talking about i love I've, I've always said it and i said it in the previous video we did about the season i love that this season has been under wraps a lot of things has been kept in secret a lot of things has not really been exposed so it is great that a lot of things are not being exposed because now we are going into it with anticipation except from few things that we had few things that we saw play out on social media actually the mattel versus his um wife stuff and him going on to purchase life 
apart from that thing i really don't think we know a lot of things that happen on this new season of love and marriage Transway. so i'm really happy that the season is coming back by next month and i hope that you guys will join us when we also review and talk about the episodes as he it drops on the season before we go don't forget to like this video the more you like the more youtube recommends don't forget to also comment on this video your thoughts and opinion on what i said on the video and also don't forget to click on the subscription button down below to subscribe to this channel and we'll see you guys next time and thank you all for watching